Okay, we're back again with a 10 minute edit for Portrait Pro 21. And we had this lady in the studio with her daughter at the weekend and uh, she wanted to look a little bit more glam. She came in looking great anyway. Um, she had great skin, as you can see here. So we're just gonna give her a little bit of a boost and um, yeah, I'm sure she'll be happy with the results. So don't forget guys, like and subscribe if you think any of these uh, videos are helpful towards you. And um, yeah, okay, we'll get straight into it. So like I said, we've got this model and she's already been imported into Portrait Pro. And as usual with all my edits, I do like to start with everything down on zero, as you can see here, and then we will start the process. Now, when it's a half, half body or three quarters nearly photo like this, I don't like to have it zoomed straight into the face because I want to see what the picture is going to look like as it's going to be viewed by the person it's intended for. So they will be looking at this most likely as it is on the screen now. So this is how we'll do, this is how I will do my edit. Anyway, so we'll jump straight into it and we'll start again with the hair volume. We're just gonna give a little bit of a boost to that hair. Now, as you can see, it does adjust some of the body area, but it's not that it's gonna be that noticeable once it's done. So don't worry about that when you're doing that um, slider. Okay, next one we're going to do is the eyes. We're just gonna get them eyes opened up just a tad. Just about there. And the face shape, we won't be moving that much. Probably everything's gonna be around the 50 mark today. Um, so if it does slow down, uh, I am recording this in 4K, so we do apologize. And we will just get a little bit of plump on the lips and everything else in there we will leave for now okay skin smoothing we will just give we'll let it do its automatic settings and we'll put everything up to around the 20 mark not too much on that and then we'll add a little bit more sharpening we don't need to trim the eyebrows and all the skin on the arms etc it does look nice anyway so we're not going to deal with any of the um, non-face skin slider excuse me uh, none of the uh, non non face skin slider adjustments okay from there we'll go straight into the makeup and my favorite one is the mascara just to get them eyelashes popping more we will bring that one up to around about the 80 mark and then she had some eyeliner on so we will just enhance that just a little bit around the 50 mark and then onto the lower eyeliner as well. We'll bring that one up to around the 66. Looking at this picture, like I said, I like to look at it, the full view. Okay, so we'll just get a little bit of blusher on them cheeks. Not too much, just a tad, until we see it come into the picture, which is around the 53 mark. So we've just got added a little bit of color there, as you can see and then we'll move on to the eye one. Like I said, this is quite a quick picture today. It's definitely probably gonna be less than 10 minutes, I think. So we're gonna give a little bit sharpening to the eyes and we'll bring the iris brightness up just so we can see a little bit more in this left eye or as we're looking at it, the right side. Okay, and then I think we will use the add extra eyelid on this one. It just gives a little bit more definition around the eyes. Because she had really nice eyes, the main focus is around the head area on this picture. And we don't need to add a catch light or anything to this one. So we will sharpen the eyebrows up just a tad as well. Okay, and eye whitening. We will bring that up and we will clean the eyes as well to around the 60, 60 mark. I think we'll do. I'll be happy with that. And whiten eyes around the 50 as well. So 
So we don't need to darken the pupils. We don't need to adjust the pupil size, etc. I'm not going to change the eye colors, anything like that. So we will close that one down for just now. Now we will use um, a little bit of um, vibrance, etc., on the hair today. So we'll just bring that up to around the 44, and then a little bit more fill light on the hair, and then we'll add the blacks in as well. and just give it a little bit more shine and sharpen up the hair a tad as well okay then we'll close that one down and we'll go to my favorite sliding panel which is the skin lighting and coloring okay so we'll head straight into the left and right shadow So we'll zoom the picture out just so we can see the final effect we are getting. So I want the lighting more on this side of the face and as you'll see as I do this um, it will highlight that this eye just a bit more as well. Okay, then we're just going to get a bit of a sculpt on the nose and get that pout going just a tad more around and under the lip area. And smoky eyes always look good. So we'll bring that up to the 50. Close that panel and we'll just go into the picture. And we're going to sharpen it just a tad. We might as well do all the editing in here. Saturation, I'm just going to bring down just a, just a tad. And then we'll bring the vibrance up again. And then we'll add just a bit of a vignette. Okay. Vignette, I'm not happy with at that level. There we go, and voila, we're done. So, like I've said before, um, don't go over the top with this software. We will just jump into the um, mouth section again and just get a little bit of whiteness on the teeth. Just to round about there and we'll zoom in just a little bit and I'm done so we've got the before and after and we've just give a just a little bit of a boost to the the features the hair how the lighting is on the face a bit of a boost to the eyes and that's basically it Okay, we'll see you in the next one.